What is up, guys? We're back with some more news. The New York Knicks are interested in trading for Andre Drummond. So apparently, the Knicks are trying to put together a package for Andre Drummond. If you ask me, this trade makes zero sense. Zero. I don't know why anyone would want to trade for Andre Drummond with the contract he has. Um, maybe their goal is since he's an expiring contract, like he's going to be a free agent this upcoming summer. That's the only thing I could think of. But if nobody trades for him, he's going to get bought out most likely. So then you could like, I guess maybe they think they're not going to be able to sign him. But Andre Drummond's a pretty solid player. Just not probably worth the amount he's getting paid. He's putting up 17 and a half points. Uh, 12 and a half rebounds and then like two and a half assists. And he is really known for his rebounding. He's been the rebounding champ four separate times. And that's really, really what he's known for. Not able to shoot really. And he can score 17 and a half points. That's not bad, but he's never been known as a scorer. He's m mainly known as a defensive player and a rebounder. So this trade to the Knicks wouldn't make any sense to me. The Cavaliers have announced they're not going to play him until they can figure out a trade for him. But if they don't figure out a trade, I don't know what they're going to do. If they're going to just buy him out or if they're just going to have him the rest of the season. I'm not sure. But I don't think they're going to get a trade they're looking for. Because I don't know if the Knicks are going to follow through with this. They'd probably have to give up. Oh, what's a big contract? They might have to give up Austin Rivers, who I know is doing pretty good for them, is having a pretty good season, probably close to, if not the best season of his career. Uh, they would definitely probably give up Mitchell Robinson, which that's kind of a loss. Um, maybe they would keep Mitchell Robinson if the idea of trading for Drummond was just like a one-year rental, so then you could get all that cap space. But the other thing I'm thinking about is like, if it is not just for that, if it's for like the long term, there's no point in keeping Mitchell Robinson around because they're they play a very similar game. Um, Mitchell Robinson probably a little better scorer, but they play a very similar game. Not really the best shooters either of them, and they're both pretty good rebounders. So there's no point in having both of them around if you do. Plus, the Cavaliers would probably want something back, even though they have a ton of centers on their roster already. Uh, they'd probably just want a younger player. So you'd probably have to give up a younger player. Um, they probably wouldn't give up Toppin or they definitely wouldn't give up Julius Randle. Um, probably wouldn't give up Emmanuel Quickly or RJ Barrett. So after that, like, who are you going to give up? Kevin Knox. I don't think the Cavaliers would be dumb enough to fall for the Kevin Knox trap because we've all kind of seen what Kevin Knox is. This season, not as good as um, his rookie season and his sophomore season. He wasn't very good either. Drummond is a really solid player, though, and I really think he would he could push the needle. If he got on the Brooklyn Nets somehow, that would be insane. If he got on the Brooklyn Nets somehow, uh, that would be just about enough for me to say, okay. I think that they, when both teams are fully healthy, I think that that would be a really good final series between them and the Lakers. And I'm a Lakers fan, so I would be I would be scared. I would be scared of that Nets team if Drummond ended up on it somehow. I would love to see Drummond on the Lakers. I feel like that is a player they absolutely need right now. Like, super bad. Um, Just a defensive anchor when Anthony Davis isn't there. And a rebounding machine because we're just getting destroyed on the defensive end because... Marcus Gasol is just not good defensively. And I don't think we were expecting him to be good on the defensive end. I think we kind of brought him along just for the sh sh shooting and scoring. Um, but Marcus Gasol is just really, really bad defensively. And then everyone already knew Montrez Harrell was not the best defender. He's kind of a scoring punch. But I am really, really regretting the Marcus Gasol for JaVale McGee trade. I wish we could have kept JaVale. 
or Dwight Howard or just one of those two because they're both really good defending bigs that uh, we need really bad right now. So Mark Gasol was not the answer. I would actually kind of be fine if we waived Mark Gasol because he just gets way too many minutes. It's so frustrating to see him in there. Um, I'd much rather have Montrez Harrell on the court, but we never do. And Andre Drummond would be perfect. Not as good a scorer as b- both those two. Um, probably closer to Mark Gasol in the scoring, scoring-wise, scoring um, but way better defender b- than both of them. And so that would be so, so nice to have him on the floor. Um, and I'm sure another team like the Celtics, the Celtics would probably love to get Andre Drummond because their center position isn't the best. They got like Robert Williams, Tristan Thompson, um, Daniel Tice, and then Semi Ojale can kind of play center. But they ha- don't really have that dude at the center position that can like lock up and play defense. I would say their best center, like if I were uh, the coach, if I were Danny Ainge, I would definitely, or not Danny Ainge, yeah, Danny Ainge, right? If I just got that wrong, like off the top of my head, I'm sorry about that. But if I were them, I would definitely try to pursue getting Andre Drummond, but I would definitely play Tristan Thompson more. They play Daniel Tice, I feel like, a little too much. And defensively, I feel like he's he kind of hurts him. But I understand offensively because Daniel Tice stretches the floor more. He can shoot the three um, at least better than Tristan Thompson. And Andre Drummond would not be able to shoot the three either. Um, as we've seen, like Andre Drummond, I don't think is just capable at all of shooting the three. And Andre Drummond, I think, is just going to be a hot ticket as soon as he gets bought out. If he does. But like I said, the Knicks are very interested and are trying to put together a package to trade for Andre Drummond. It's just the money. I think that would be... That's the huge deal breaker is just he's getting paid like $30 million this season. It's just so much for Andre Drum. But like I would say it's a little it's an overpay. But at the same time, sometimes you af- you have to overpay because sometimes the reward is way more than the risk. Like there's more reward than risk, especially in this situation, I would say. So if the Knicks do go after him and they're trying to push for the playoffs or something for some reason that wouldn't really make any sense but if they were trying to push for the playoffs I would say yeah this is probably a good trade to be looking at if you're trying to push for the playoffs but if you're not and you're and you want to keep them long term that's not a good decision but if you are like going for the expiring thing thinking maybe you'll get a free agent you probably won't get a free agent because like you're the Knicks and you never get free agents besides like Julius Randle, but like, and I, I guess that's worked out for you. You became an all-star. So bonus deserved it, but that's not the point. Um, so I guess maybe it's, it would, if, if it paid off, if you guys actually ended up getting someone signing wise, yeah, that was a good move, but I just don't know if giving up those young players or draft picks or whatever the Cavaliers want back will be worth it in the end. So I don't know if I see this trade going through or not. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Don't forget to leave a like. And I will see you guys later. Peace out. Thank you guys for sticking around. You guys are the real ones. Peace out.